Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. I want to talk about um, COVID and the long symptoms you get that can occur afterwards. Now they're being associated with, and they're often neurological symptoms really, even though it's you may say it's a headache or gut pain or uh, brain fog or you got POTS. These are often injuries to the uh, autonomic nervous system causing this. Now, typically you would recover from an injury to the autonomic nervous system within a few weeks to a few months, but when it's persistent, generally it's because you have chronic inflammation. Now, inflammation is a word we use when your immune system is activated. And now in the patients that are coming to see me with COVID, it's quite clear they have autonomic dysfunction, they got an injury from COVID, uh, it, could, it might be a direct injury from the virus infecting the nervous system. Uh, but I think more likely than not, it's just from the surge of inflammatory chemicals that come along with COVID that can actually cause an injury, just like you might think of if you get hit in the head, all right? And people don't recover because this inflammation persists. It doesn't like go away after your symptoms go away. And what it's looking like is, uh, at least in a large proportion of the patients I'm seeing, it's that COVID is triggering SIBO, or small intestine bacterial overgrowth. This is a state where the bacteria in your colon start abnormally living up in the small intestine by you know, 10,000 to 100,000 times the amount of bacteria. Now we treat this routinely in our protocol, that this is all pre-COVID, We've been using rifaximin to help balance the gut bacteria um, and that's how we get brain recovery and by what we do is you balance the bacteria inflammation comes down and the brain can heal itself essentially well what's happened is it's much harder to get control of the bacteria now we've had many patients long-term patients i've seen them for six eight years they use rifaximin they come back every year or two just you know, to chat, see how things are going, get a refill on their rifaximin. And um, they only need it every now and then. Once a year, twice a year, they take it twice a day for 10 days. They get balance of the gut bacteria and they'll stay that way for a long time. And they can tell because when they relapse, they get symptoms. Now what's happening is when you get COVID, many of them, where I say previously they wouldn't relapse for six to 12 months, they take their 10 days of Rifaximin after being sick from COVID and they relapse within two weeks and they do it again they relapse in two weeks and they're like it's not that the Rifaximin isn't really working it's still effective but what seems to be happening is a thing that will cause you to more rapidly relapse is when your intestinal tract if you think of it like a conveyor belt kind of pushing everything down the line the the small intestine, the part between the stomach and the colon, is going too slow. And now they've shown that COVID, so COVID infects your cells through what are called ACE2 receptors, all right? The highest concentration of ACE2 receptors are in the small intestine, and it looks like COVID is A, causing neurological damage to the small intestine, and B, causing slow motility to the small intestine and one would predict that would cause rapid relapsing. Okay, that's exactly what we're seeing. Now what you have to do is, these patients have to, you know, they get on their fish oil and olive oil, which is an everyday thing. They get on their vagal stimulator, which is everyday thing. And they often have to use Rifaximin on a continual basis, twice a day, nonstop. You know, some are four months, some maybe eight months. It just kind of depends how bad things are. We kind of have to guess. We'll go continuously and then we just stop and we see how they do and how long their symptoms remain. You know, if you're lucky, they'll go for several months and they won't need it again. If it comes back now, they're only taking their 10 day regimen and every now and then. Sometimes we've gone four or five months, we stop, it comes right back. We have to go another four or five months or what have you until we get adequate repair there. And then they'll have more prolonged uh, intervals between the need for these little intermittent doses of Rifaximin. So, hope that's helpful to you all. Uh, 
COVID ain't going away anytime soon. It's causing a lot of damage. I'm not trying to proselytize anybody, but you know, personally, if I'm out, there aren't many crowds. I'm not wearing a mask, but if I'm like in the grocery store and I'm up close to people, there could be crowds of people around me I can't control. I'm always wearing a mask. I don't want to get COVID. So uh, just be careful, take care of yourselves, and uh, uh, just remember your nervous system can recover from this. You just got to get the inflammation low enough. Thanks a lot. Take care.